Hi there, I'm Tina Carini at spongeandstamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the U.S. So today's card is a really cute and fun fold pocket card. Isn't this so sweet and pretty? I was inspired with this card by Jackie Balhays at Clompin' Stampers, and I just had to recreate, recreate it in my own way. But isn't this adorable? And you open it up, and then you get the element of surprise which is a pocket card and you pull out your message and you can write whatever you want to say in there or you can stamp more, decorate it any way that you would like to decorate it. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So I'm using the Floral Essence Stamp Set along with the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. Isn't this paper just absolutely gorgeous? I have to be honest though, when I first saw it, I wasn't too thrilled with it. I thought, well, how in the world am I going to use that? But after I got it, oh, is it so beautiful. And it is so much fun to work with. So we're going to be using um, this one right here. This is the front and the back to it. And let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Bring in our cardstock. I'm going to be using Balmy Blue cardstock that is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at two and a half, two and a half and six and a half. And then we're going to go ahead and fold that. Use my bone folder. Give it a nice crisp fold. Just like so. And then we're going to bring in our little packet here that has all these little pieces to it. We're going to be using our clear epoxy embellishments and then we have our designer series paper so this is going to come down here on the bottom and actually I'm going to turn it this way I think and then this is going to go on the top just like that and the measurements to the designer series paper is five and a quarter by one and three quarters and then this one is five and a quarter by two and a quarter so we're just going to go ahead and adhere these down on there and I'm going to be using my favorite glue and let's just go ahead if I can get it to come out well there we go sometimes it gets all gummed up in there all right and then we are going to just center that on there center it right on here. Whoops, I want it to go this way. So just like that. And that is good enough for me. Okay, and then we're going to take our other piece right here and we're going to adhere this to the top flap of our card. I tell you, this is a really simple card, but it really gives the wow factor. I really, really like it. And I'm going to line this up here, just like that. And I think that I am okay with that. Okay, so there we go. So now we're going to put this aside, and we are going to, this goes in the inside. And this we're going to do some stamping on, and this we're going to do some punching with. We're going to go ahead and punch out our leaves, and I'm using some old olive, and I only need one. Okay, and now we're going to use our sentiment. I am pulling in a different sentiment. On this card, I use the sentiment that is in the Floral Essence stamp set. All days are beautiful that begin with you. And then I use the thank you from the Daisy stamp set. I can't remember the full name. It's the one that carried over, not the brand new one. And then we've got, but I wanted to use something a little different. So I pulled in Beautiful and Strong. I love this these sentiments that are on here. I was so happy when this carried over. But I'm going to be using I Cherish You, My True Friend. I know I can always count on you. And I'm going to be stamping that in Balmy Blue. Just gonna ink this up and I'm gonna center this on here because I'm gonna be using my stitched shaped framelits 
to cut that out I'm using bring these in here for you I'm using the second to the largest one I love these if you don't have these these are awesome to have and then I'm just gonna put that on there but I'm gonna put it more towards the top and over to the side just a tiny bit so that we have room for our flower down at the bottom so I'm gonna run this through the I've already ran this through the big shot just to save a little bit of time and there we go we're all ready with that one so put this aside and then we need another piece of cardstock to stamp our flower in and I'm using this little flower right here and then the flower center so we're going to stamp that in blushing bride so I'm going to ink that up all nice and inky and then I'm going to stamp that down just like that there we go and then we just do a little fussy cutting but let's go ahead and stamp the center in crushed curry and then you just line this up try not to stick my head in the way just line that up like that and then we're ready to fussy cut that out and I've already done that too because I know that fussy cutting can be pretty doggone boring to watch so here we go we've got that so we're gonna put that right about there then I'm gonna take my leaf and I am gonna do some cutting here and I'm gonna cut this little piece off here I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that together or not I think I will I think I'll keep that together so that can go right there and then this piece here we're just gonna tuck right up underneath there just like that all right but I am gonna trim this off because I don't want it to stick out that far I'm gonna use a little bit of my liquid glue here to adhere that and let's see here make sure that I have that right and this is going to come right probably right about there okay so that's on there and then we're going to take this little leaf here and put some glue on there and then that one is going to go right like that kind of curve it up and then there is our flower we're gonna pop that up with a dimensional so we've got a dimensional right there peel the backing off and I'm just gonna sit that right there so there we go so we're all ready to put that on our card so we're gonna bring back in our card we're going to put some more dimensionals on there, but I am going to um, just put them on the top half of part of our die cut because we don't want it to stick to the bottom, just to the top. Pull those off. Just like that. We're going to center that on here, just like so looks pretty good isn't that beautiful then we're going to bring in our um, frosted epoxy embellishments or and i am going to use these little ones and i forgot to bring my take your pick tool so i'm going to try to do this with scissors i don't normally have a whole lot of luck with that but we're going to try it for this video and then we're just gonna put that right there. So there we go, there is the in, the outside of our card. Isn't that beautiful and so easy to do? So now we're gonna bring the inside of our card and I've already got this sentiment blocked up and it is from the Strong and Beautiful also. And it says, "Thanks for thank you for always being there. And I'm not really sure what color I want to do that in, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it in balmy blue. I'm going to ink that up and hope that I can stamp this straight. I don't know if I can or not. I don't put my labels on straight. Those of you that's been watching me for a little while know that I don't do things straight. So, and I've got some, uh-oh, I've got some, 
I'm gonna flip that over. Shadowing going on. We're gonna go with that if it's not, uh, it's a little crooked and it's off to the side some, but anyway, it'll be okay. I can redo that later. All right. So now I want to put a strip of designer series paper down here just to decorate it up a little. And I think that I am going to go with this side. So we're going to put that on there. This is three quarters of an inch wide and I made it, didn't cut it down because I'm just going to trim it off. Just like that. Actually, I think I want it to go all the way down to the bottom. Slide it down. Well, it's drying on me before I can get it down there. <laughs> anyway, that's good. Okay. So, let's go ahead and trim this up. Just like that. And now it's ready to go in, but we got to do one more thing. And we want to take a little bit of bead of glue right on the edge here. And a little bit on this side too. And then we're going to fold that up and glue that down. And that forms our little pocket for our sentiment to go inside there. So it just goes in just like so. And then there you go. So you open it up and there's your little surprise and you can decorate this any way you'd like to and use, just play with it and use all different kinds of sentiments and designer series paper. And so here is the first one that I did. And then we've got this one. And then let me show you one that I was playing around with too that really gives it a completely different look. And that's this one using the, what is this one? The above the clouds, isn't that cute? And then you open it up and it says the best thing about today is you. So that one's a birthday card. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And I really love to hear from you. So if you would leave me a comment, that would be awesome. Also, check me out on Facebook. I go live every Tuesday nights at 730. And also at noon on Fridays for lunchtime stamping on my group page, Let's Be Creative Together. Also, check out my blog, spongeandstamp.com, and on there I will have a full description of this card that we did today with a shopping list and measurements and all that stuff, and I'll also have them listed below, links to the items that I used, and all kinds of links will be in there. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for taking time out to watch me and join me today. I hope that you will leave this video feeling inspired and have a very blessed day. Bye-bye. Until next time.